One more time for the Brighton Bar and Angelo. Woo! Can any of y'all tell me what a uh, good God and MK is? MK, MK, MK. <laughs> the fuck out of here with that shit. Oh, the last guy, our favorite comedian ever. Let's give it up for him, right? Give it up. <laughs> He's also our favorite magician. Like, how in the hell did you trick someone to marry you? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> <shattered>. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Remember when you was little? You did that like flavor check. You're like, oh yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna lick the hell out of this pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll speak of licking pussy. I just signed up for uh, Carl's Cooter Licking Lecture. All right, sold out. You guys missed out. You didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying, I like to lick it before I stick it. I'm a philatelist. I like, I like stamps. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> that's, that's terrible. <laughs> You know what I do like though? I like them, uh, you know, them kneeling, them like squatting blowjobs. You know what I'm talking about? When they just squat down in there and get after it. That's that gay shit, right? No, no, no. When the ladies do it, you know how you tell if they're into it? Uh. If you look underneath there, it looks like someone forgot to wring out the mop and just left that shit draping over the counter. <laughs> yeah, that girl's into that shit. <laughs> yeah, wise ass. Someone told me that nothing good happens after midnight. I don't know if I buy that, you know. Midnight's all right, some shit's going down. Like, even like 2 a.m., you can probably stumble into a blowjob, can't you? <laughs> just stumble right into one of them, but like, 4 a.m., like what's left? You know, just a couple sloppy girls. You know, some crazy chicks with sharp teeth <laughs> and a mean streak, you know what I mean? Just cut your dick off. 2 a.m., that's the last call, that's the last pussy call. <laughs> you know, those Did you ever have a gal sneeze when giving you some head? Feel like she's gonna snap your pecker right off? I came instantly. <laughs> I found my first kink. <laughs> I carry pepper around with me every time I get a blowjob and shit. Oh, I wanna see if it works again. <laughs> hey ladies, you know how to tell if a guy's got a really small pecker? His truck sounds like this. <laughs> and he's got like a step side and a booster seat, but ain't got no kids. Yeah, that's how I got a little pecker that guys. <laughs> you know what I like? Spooning. That's, you might think that's a little, right? But I like spooning. You know, because like inevitably, like within six to 12 seconds, you know the girl's gonna like faint like she's uncomfortable. You know, it's, like, it's just my hip, it's just because I'm uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Just so she can wiggle her ass against your pecker and get her chubby going. You know, yeah. Like, I, I'm like, oh yeah, let's spoon, because I know like in a few seconds I'm gonna hear, gentlemen, start your pecker. It's a NASCAR joke, it never works. <laughs> you know who started this saggy pants shit? Anyone ever try to figure that out? Yeah, I bet you three to one on your money, it's a fella that been to prison. You know, like a regular, someone that just got tired of putting down and pulling them up and pulling down and pulling them up, so you just, all right, fellas, I'm gonna leave her out there for you. Just get to town whenever you like. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to hell. You're getting shanked on the way. All right, that's enough jokes. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate it.